Hi everyone, happy Easter. This is Richard Pratt from Third Millennium Ministries, and I just want to extend a brief Easter greeting to you on the behalf of everyone here at Third Millennium Ministries. A lot of us have heard the passage of scripture in John chapter 11, verse 25, where Jesus mentioned the resurrection. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. What a wonderful passage where Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. And a lot of you will remember that this was a scene in which Jesus came to the funeral of Lazarus and then raised him from the dead. And prior to these words that Jesus just uttered, we know that what happens is that Jesus says to Martha, who's weeping and distraught over the loss of Lazarus, he says to her, he will rise again. And she responds, well, of course, I believe he will rise on the day of the resurrection. And in response, Jesus says, I am the resurrection. Now, a lot of times, many Christians today miss the point that Jesus is making. And so for this reason, we even miss the point of celebrating Easter because we don't believe like the Jews of Jesus' day and like we should believe even today in what's called the resurrection of the dead. Now, a lot of you know the Apostles' Creed and how it ends. I believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The resurrection of the body. So let me just encourage you this way. Ask yourself the question, what is your ultimate hope and what is your ultimate dream? Is it that you will simply die and then go to heaven and spend eternity in heaven? Oh, that will be a wonderful place to be. And it will, in fact, be magnificent when you and I pass and we go to be with Jesus in heaven. But that's not the ultimate goal. That's not the end point for which we have faith in Jesus. As the Apostles' Creed says, we believe in the resurrection of the dead. And that means that we believe that at the end, when Jesus returns, there will be a general resurrection of every single human being for judgment or for eternal life with Christ in the new creation. And knowing that that's the case in the days of Jesus, that Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the apostle Paul, Martha in this case, believed that one day that would happen, the words of Jesus ring clear. Jesus said, it's not the general resurrection that you hope for. You must hope in the one who will be the resurrection of the dead, the one who guarantees it, the one who makes sure that there will be this resurrection of the physical body, a new glorified physical body for every one of us as we enter into God's new creation after Jesus returns. And of course, when Jesus says, I am the resurrection, though you die, you will live. He's claiming that he is the one who will bring the resurrection of the dead. And how can he make a claim like that? Well, Jesus is the first person, in fact, up to this time, the only person who has been resurrected from the dead and given a new glorified body by the Father. So Jesus is a step ahead of us in what's going to happen to us one day. He has been raised from the dead. He received a new resurrection body. He ascended into heaven and now rules over all things until he returns in glory, at which time you and I in Christ will be resurrected from the dead. We will receive glorified bodies and we will reign on the earth with Jesus. Now that's something to be happy about. And that's the reason why we say to each other, Happy Easter.